At a time when forests and natural habitats are apparently being forced to make way for mining companies, we are looking at an iron ore mine that has made way for nature. This is Sankalim, one of the richest iron ore mines till 1990. Sankalim is now reclaimed by afforestation and is today one of the richest green belts in the pristine state of Goa. The truth is, iron ore earns Goa more foreign exchange than does its flourishing tourist trade. The truth is also, without iron ore, there can be no steel. And without steel, there can be no development. In fact, everything we see around us today, whether it's roads, bridges, railways, airports, ports, or even alternative means of power, need iron and steel. So the question is no longer whether we should mine iron ore or not. The question is, how then should we mine it? There is one company in India which seems to be doing things in perfect harmony with the needs of man and Mother Nature, Sessa Goa. For a company whose name can't be detached from the state of its origin, predictably enough, it all starts with the land. The ore quality in Goa is softer than the drier northern parts of India, and mining for iron ore here is much easier on the environment. There is no need for loud blasts, no fear of flying rocks or dust, and no fear of vibrations that can damage houses in the neighboring villages. In fact, this is not the kind of laterite soil the regular mining company digs into. This is the kind of soil that's left behind as waste by most mining companies who scratch only the surface for high-grade iron ore. Sesa Goa mines for low-grade iron ore and then upgrades it so that the world can make high-grade big iron and steel. This may not result in short-term profits, but it extends the life of a resource and makes mining more sustainable. Sustainable mining doesn't just mean following the norms, it means setting them. In 1996, Sesa Goa became the first iron ore mining company in the world to receive ISO 14000 certification for environment management systems of all its mines. In the year 2000, it pioneered the use of geotextiles for controlling erosion in waste dumps, a process which is now being followed by the rest of the mining industry in India. The water used for the beneficiation process in all the Sesa mines is 100% recycled. What's more, even the blast furnace gas from the pig iron plant and the waste heat from the metallurgical coke are not allowed to go waste. They are used to generate precious electricity for the state and valuable carbon credits for the company. At Sesa Goa, the focus doesn't seem to be on the present. Rather, the company is keeping an eye on the future. The future of development the future of man, and indeed, the future of our planet. Unearthing the future, Cesar Goa.